How many times in life do you get a complete surprise, a shock? <laughs> Let me share one that happened to me. I'm sitting in the bleachers waiting for my grandson to finish football practice, and the line coach, big guy, veers off, comes over to me. I was the only guy in the stands, and he says to me, Joe, I just want you to know something. I gave my life to Christ at one of your very first game plan for lives here in Charlotte. And I said, Mark, you never said a word to me. That was two years ago. He goes, yeah, I didn't want to bother you with it. But he said, let me tell you what's happened since then. He said, God started working on me and saying, you need to get off the sideline and get in the game for me. And he started impressing upon me that I needed to start a prison ministry. Now, get this, he says, I've never taught anything in my life. But he said, God was telling me, get in the game. I took your two minute drills, rewrote them, and I started going up to Salisbury Prison and taking 10 prisoners at a time through that small group study. He started a prison ministry. So he started traveling with me when we speak to prisons, you know, at different times. Um, and then he came to me and he said, Joe, I want to go down to Louisiana. They got a program down there that has completely changed their entire prison system. And I said, Mark, go ahead, go take a look at it. He came back from that and he said, basically what they're doing, they're working with Southwest Seminary. They take lifers, men that are incarcerated, not going to get out, take them through a four year study just like a seminary student, and they get a pastoral degree when they graduate, and then they transfer them throughout the state to become chaplains. And said it's completely changed their prison system. And I, I said, and he said to me, he said, Joe, I wanna do that here in North Carolina. And I, this is what I told him, I said, Mark, I'm up to my eyeballs, I can't do that. You gotta go through the political system, get all that arranged. I said, that'll probably take years. And he said, I want to do it. And I said, go. He took off and can you believe this? In one year, we now have that, that working with Southeastern Seminary at Nash Correctional Institution, we have our four classes. That's four years ago we started. Four classes, 115 men that are going to go through a four-year study, get their degree, just like a normal seminary student would, and then be transferred throughout the state of North Carolina. Is that awesome or what? So what happened there? Okay, let's think about that for a minute. In somebody's life, he said, Joe, I'm so charged up right now. I feel like I'm doing what God wants me to do. And so what happened to Mark there? Well, first, he gave his life to Christ. That's the most important decision we ever make. And in Acts 1.8, it says, when we do that, we receive power. And that's what happened to Mark. The second thing that happened there is uh, someday we're going to stand before Christ. And what Mark said to, uh, said to me in 2 Corinthians 5.10, as we talked about that, it says someday we're going to stand before Christ, you and I, and the only thing that's going to be at our feet is what we've done for him. Now, that's scary. I think that someday I'll be standing there and God's going to say, Joe, you did pretty good. You got 25% of what I wanted you to do. <laughs> Hope not. But for all of us, the reality is we're going to stand before Christ someday. And the only thing that we've done in this life that counts is what we've done for him. And so when I think about that, uh, basically what that's telling me is this. Is it football games? Is it races where I spent my professional life doing things? No, it's gonna be the influence we're having on others. Am I off the sideline? Am I in the game? Okay, that's what Mark did. And so I think that's the question I just wanted to share with you today. Okay, the first and most important thing, are we on God's team?
What an absolutely amazing session by Coach Gibbs discussing the surprises of life and how they can lead to great things. Now, here's some key points to remember. Number one, giving your life to Christ is one of the most empowering, beautiful, and amazing decisions you can ever make. And number two, one day you will stand before Christ and answer for all you were supposed to do for him. So as you break out into your coach's huddle for discussion, coach, my question for you, have you given your life to Christ or have you led others to Christ?